and welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, I love you, Crumble. You ain't jumping in the holiday season like everybody else. You're holding on to fall. You're doing pumpkin cookies. You're doing pie cookies. We're getting all the shablang, 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 and we ain't jumping into Christmas just yet. We'll get that in December. Anyways, um, if you'll hit that subscribe button and comment on this video, give it a like too. You guys have been awesome with the likes. Y'all have been just hitting me up. I'm like, yes. While the algorithm doesn't really appreciate it for some reason, I truly appreciate it. And I think we are working hard to continue to grow here. So, three of the cookies have not been on, well, one's new. Two have not been on the lineup in a while. And when I say a while, pumpkin cheesecake hasn't been around in almost two years. Um, pumpkin chocolate cheesecake. It used to be Oreo pumpkin. Used to be, uh, so it's the same cookie. It's still the Oreo base um, with a pumpkin cream cheese or pumpkin cheesecake icing. But it's not new. They're not saying it's new. They just changed the name. So very intriguing. I'm glad that they didn't acknowledge it as new. Um, kind of to show people who have been here for so long and know what that cookie is that it is the same one so good job crumble uh strawberry cake i don't know what i'm gonna think about that we'll see i got a little bit of a taste of it i think it's got natural strawberry in there that makes me hopeful um i don't like artificial strawberry and i'm really not a big fan of cream cheese icing uh especially mixed with fruity flavor but they did do cream cheese, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, Biscoff white chip. I, I guess it's like there's supposed to be. Oh, I don't know if there's supposed to be cookie butter in there at all. But it's supposed to be a Biscoff flavored cookie with white chips, white chocolate chips. And then Buckeye Brownie, one of my personal faves. They don't look like they made it as great as usual. Um, feels like it would have more peanut butter and chocolate. And it's really crumbling on me, so it's going to be hard to show it off other than in this real quick thumbnail right so as you can see i got two of each of the chocolate ones one for personal use the other uh, i'm gonna give to my brother he probably will love the buckeye brownie so uh i always like to share over here my guys so if, if anyone ever wants to do a collab if you're out in the 757 i'd love to have someone in my passenger seat we'd have to work around it but it would be a good time so please let me know other than that we're going to jump into this um i want to start with this one this is the one i'm truly excited about pumpkin uh, uh chocolate pumpkin cheesecake so we're going to go ahead and cut into this. Of course, it's chilled. It's a cheesecake cookie. The rest are warm, just so you know. That's the one chilled cookie. And you get you can go get sugar cookie if you want. But guys, come on. Who wants a sugar cookie? We want the fun stuff. Not to say sugar cookie ain't fun. But, you know, I want to have some fun. Some fun. All right. We're going to try it. Mm. That's a bold amount of pumpkin flavor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No wonder people love that one. It's such a nice mix of that Oreo base. Um with pumpkin flavor and the cream cheese isn't too loud so that doesn't bother me too much but i wouldn't give it a 10 just because i wish that top layer was more pronounced like i wish it was more i wish there was a thicker amount of it and i think if they did that it would be an over the top classic but i love the combinations of the three flavors and i think they pair well surprisingly for me, I'd have to give it an eight and a half just because I think they could perfect it, but the flavor works so well. All right, we're gonna move on to the new one, strawberry cake. This is a big old bad boy. I, I think they put little strawberry chunks in the base. It looks mostly like an original base, but it's a strawberry cream cheese icing and it's got white chocolate uh, 
not morsels. I don't know what the word is, but little white chocolate flecks um, on top. So we're going to go ahead and grab. Look on the inside. That looks nice and gooey. Uh, the Oreo one wasn't too dry. It was pretty moist. No, of course, a, a chill cookie is not going to be gooey, right? You know. Hmm. You know, this throws me back to Neapolitan with how much I hated the Neapolitan, the artificial strawberry. I think they did a much better job here um, with the strawberry flavor. Of course, if they do Neapolitan again, I just, I would like to see them do a buttercream. And with this, I think buttercream might be more enjoyable. But I think the flavor is pretty interesting. And I don't hate it. I, I actually like it quite a bit. Um, but I wouldn't say, you know, it's it's at its best. I think it could be improved, of course. Yeah, that cream cheese, bit, it jitters me a bit. It makes it taste a little odd, but I do like what they're doing here. I like the concept. At the very least, it's a very pretty cookie, um, and it is very prominent in that strawberry flavor with some uh, cream cheese sweetness. I, I do, I do enjoy this. Though. I'm not going to lie, strawberry cheesecake is a very popular thing. So people will probably really, like, enjoy it. Oops. What am I doing? I'm trying to get a napkin. I'm almost out of napkins here. I, I was hoarding them. Now I don't. I don't hoard them at all. So anyways, um, I'll give it a seven and a half. I think other people will love this more than I did. Just because I'm kind of biased about cream cheese mixed with certain things, but is what it is all right we're gonna go off to biscoff white chip i love to save buckeye brine for the end I, spoiler alert it's always a 10 for me but you know we're gonna go ahead and rip this out put it to the side and then cut into this biscoff white chip okay so i think it does have some cookie butter in it but i'm not real sure i didn't study up on this one unfortunately but yeah let's try it out mm -mm. it's just best golf nothing really stands out about this cookie other than the biscoff flavor I do like the creaminess of the white chips mix with the Bix Biscoff. When you think about how cookie butter, that is Biscoff mixed with cream, you know, it's, or butter, you know, it's creamed down. It's a creamy version of Biscoff. Well, that's kind of what you get with this cookie. Because it reminds you, okay, we're kind of like cookie butter, but we have it mixed the things down into, they're separate. You know, so I think that does make sense. Um, I wouldn't say I love it, but I do like it. So I would give that a seven. I think seven's fair. Um, but definitely the the low light of the lineup. A very good lineup, though. Truly good. All right, so this is Buckeye Brownie. We've had some good memories with this one. Uh, if you don't like getting a sticky mouth, well, folks... Don't get this cookie. So they got a peanut butter brownie one and they got Buckeye brownie. Big thing with Buckeye brownie is that it's not some chocolate peanut butter swirl on top. It's it's legit a gob of peanut butter with a melted chocolate on top of a gooey brownie base. And it is so delicious. But this will get stuck in your mouth and I will probably be sitting here for a minute or two just trying to you know get my teeth cleaned uh, per se but here we go mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm.
my teeth aren't as messy this time. The first time I tried this, I couldn't stop laughing. I was nonstop laughing. Um, if you just look up Buckeye Brownie Southern Snack, you'll you'll probably be able to find the first one. But it's just so good. Mm. The peanut butter is so creamy, so dense. The chocolate so melty. The cookie so dewy. Mm. If you like brownies, if you like Buckeyes, hell, if you like peanut butter, if you like chocolate, this one's a good one. It's not just a good one. It's an amazing one. So 10 out of 10 for that one. Gotta say, it's a pretty solid lineup. Um, of course, the chocolate ones are the highlights for me. Uh, if you like strawberry and cream cheese, I think you'll definitely like the, the strawberry cake. Biscoff reminds me a lot of cookie butter. If you didn't mix all the ingredients, so say you're cooking, you're, you're going to make homemade cookie butter, and you got the ingredients, and you just want to kind of eat it beforehand, like, okay, let's eat some cream on a Biscoff cookie. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So, very solid fall lineup. I wouldn't say nothing to brag about, but those two chocolate ones, those are the ones you want to get a whole bunch of and throw in the freezer there. Especially uh, pumpkin chocolate cheesecake. You're not going to see that for another year at least. So, you got to go get it. And if you really love it, you'll want to put it in the freezer. So, anyways, that's my review. I'm sticking to it. And I will see y'all around.